2015, I'd done a photo shoot for someone. And basically they'd give me a pair of slip-ons to wear for the shoot. And this was before I knew where to get them. I drew up a, a slip-on and I had met someone that owns a, a, a factory around Europe. So I sent him it and the way Mallet started was I just wanted a custom one-off shoe just for myself. And this is the shoe. So when he developed me the shoe and he come to meet me in London, I'd realised, well, I looked in, I was like, wow, like, what? We, can, we can make things out of this, yeah? So that's how Mallet started. It was it was a one-off for myself just because I love shoes. And then when when we actually developed that one shoe for myself, which was this, we ordered 50 pairs and we done one drop of them and it it went crazy. And then Will I Am took a pair and wore them on a on an advert on BBC. And then it just went from there. Then we just started developing the styles after styles. I think we started off with three styles and now we've got I think we've got like 18 styles now. I don't design for, to, to be fashionable. I wouldn't sit at a fashion show and watch people walking up and down the catwalk and think, do you know what, I want a, that colour or things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll make things that I like. I'll, I'll, I'll sit there designing. So it started off pen to, pen to paper. I can't draw, but I'd started drawing. So I'd design something, I'd send it over to my factory, go through materials and things like that, and then they'd get me a prototype. But my prototype period's within two days. So once I've got a prototype together, I'll get that shoe sent back to me and I'll put it on my Instagram, just on my feet. I don't say what it is and I'll get people's comments on what they think it is. If I get the right amount of likes and comments and people are feeling it, then I'll put an order in for it. And then I'll shout out to the stores and then we'll roll it out like that. It's hard to pick a favourite with my shoes because obviously they're like my kids, so it's like me picking the, the best kid I've got or my favourite dog if I've got 10 of them. But the most worn shoe is this. The archway, the archway pink. I wear this colour all the time. This is my favourite colour. So yeah, this is number one, this one. And this is one of our best selling ones as well, because there's not many pink shoes around at the minute. Aims and ambitions. You know what? It's just every day that it comes, I suppose. I just want to be the best. I just want to, I want to go into shops. The, 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 best, the best two things about, about my business is what I think, and it's nothing to do with money. And it's nothing to do with like being out there as a fashion designer. It's seeing people wearing them and walking into a store and being the top seller. And walking in there and the staff in the store, when they see you, they're like, mate, the shoes are doing well, this one, get one, people are asking for them. That's the best feeling. So the ambition is just to every store we're in, just be number one and be high up number one. I don't want no one near me. I want to be, if someone's doing 50 pairs, I want to be doing 150. I don't want a little gap. I don't want to be fighting no one. I want to be number one. I want to be up top all the time. And that's what we're doing. Being into Suti and doing things like getting front windows in there and getting selfies that we're getting in there is like a dream because I used to get a train up to North. I used to go to Manchester and just go and see my friends up there. And I used to always religiously go into Suti. So I'd go in there and buy bits and I'd come home with it. So. Going in there now and seeing my shoes on display or going downstairs and doing plans of putting windows in and even doing the women's shoes in there and everyone happy with it, it's crazy. It's an honour to be in premium stores that we're in.